gentlemen. Here is the recognized woman's wrestling champion of the world, Clara Mortensen. She won the championship at Chattanooga, Tennessee in 1937 from Mildred Burke, and has held it ever since. Clara comes from the only wrestling family of its kind in the world. Now here's her contender for tonight's bout, and I'll tell you about her later. Clara's papa is a wrestler, former champion of Denmark. Her brother is a wrestler, and she's a wrestler, as you'll soon see. Her mother is a quiet, demure, charming little lady. The whole family travels together to all bouts. Wrestling is one of the most ancient of sports, but not until recently was it taken up by the female of the species. This is the ring announcer, Major Whelan. He says one fall for the women's championship of the world. In this corner, we have the contender, the Mexican champ, Blonde Rita Martinez, 137 pounds, 5 feet 5 inches tall. And if you think Triple Martinez is potent, wait until you see her in action. And in this corner, the one and only recognized woman champion of the world, Clara Mortensen, 5 feet 6 inches tall, 137 pounds, blonde hair, girl voice. The referee for the bout is Jack Allen. He gives them instructions on how not to choke each other. And we're about ready to go. The crowd is intense and expectant. After all, this is a woman's bout. There's the referee's signal, and the contenders approach each other. They go into a traditional referee's hold, and then Mortensen applies the head chancery. You certainly take in your head. Then Mortensen comes down with a right arm smash into the Martinez bread basket or kitchen. There's the referee's hold again, and now Martinson maneuvers a full Nelson, and they go into a dog fall. The champ applies a body scissor, but Martinez is too smart for that one, forces Martinson into a half Nelson. Somebody once said a woman is the person who can hurry through a drugstore aisle 18 inches wide without brushing against the piled up cosmetics, and then drive home and knock the doors off a 12-foot garage. I'd hate to think what these girls would knock over. Now, the champ has Still a half Nelson, and now a crotch hold. And a short arm scissors throw. Both get to the feet again. The referee tells the champ to get over in the other corner, and then they go into a wrist lock. And it's the champ, or rather Martinez, of Mexico with a wrist lock on the champ, Sarah Mortensen. Martinez is the punisher now, and Mortensen doesn't like it one bit. There's a movement I haven't got an official name for. Martinez isn't going to let her get away with that one. Champ is still trying to get out of that hold. A whip wrist lock and an arm stretch by Martinez. That's it, Clara. Get tough now. Show some of the stuff you're made of. A shove and a face and arm lock. And that's what you call a hankle. Pass some time on your mother-in-law. It seems that blow by blow women are gaining their manhood. Now Mortensen gets an arm lock on Martinez. And that hair, it looks like a couple of Cocker Spaniels playing in the backyard. Still an arm lock by Mortensen, the champ. And Martinez is trying to get out of it, whipping her feet up and down on the canvas. It's a tough hold, and the champ is still holding it, but Rita is forcing her to her feet. Martinez is trying to maneuver around now and pushes her away. There's a headlock by Martinez, a headlock pickup, a nice morning pickup, and finishes up with a headlock that made Lois famous. This is a fine time for the champ to start jitterbugging, but this seems to be the usual method of trying to break the headlock when it's applied on the floor. It's a very difficult hold to break, and it's painful. The referee is careful to note whether or not the head hold develops into a strangle hold, which is barred. That's why he watches the hold of this kind so carefully. But there's the woman's champ. It looks like she's finally going to get break it after 30 seconds. She's getting to her feet now. She gets a hold of Rita's hair, but the referee won't let her hold it, and picks Rita up and smashes to the floor, but Martinez still holds the headlock on the chance. Now, this is a $64 question, which is which, or whose is who? Now the champ is putting on a copy of head scissors. Martinez is trying to slip out of that one. It's a tough hold, and it's a hard one to take. There's a side body punch. Referee warns Mar Mortensen. Martinez is still in trouble. Over they go, and a half Nelson is applied by Mortensen. When Martinez gets out of this, her head should look like an unrationed raw meat oil. And does it look at it, and is she mad? There comes the chance after again. Martinez stalks around. Champ gets a head chancery on her and a body smash to the Martinez bed basket. A head chancery and another body smash. Looks 
Looks like Mortensen is getting tough now, but Rita is mad, and she shoves Mortensen into the corner, gets her head on the rope, and is holding it there, giving her a lot of punishment. It's a tense moment. The champ may not be able to get out of this one, but she does. And she is mad now. They go into a referee's hold. And now it's a head chance race by the champ and our body smash. And now we go into the... Ah, it's a flying mare over the rope. And Martinson throws the referee down. Martinson gets back into the center of the ring. The referee is starting to count. The, the spectators are saying, no, don't count. After all, that looked all illegal to us. But the champ is getting back into the ring again. And they're getting ready. The champ looks a bit irked. What's going to be your strategy now? She's tried about everything in the book. There's the referee's hold. And a whip wrist lock by the champ. And an arm stretch immediately. The champ has an arm stretch on Rita Martinez now. Say, did you ever pull Taffy as a kid? Rita will really have to melt to get out of this one. It looks like a Taffy pull hold to me. I don't know what good a hold like this is doing the champ. She can't pin her so shoulders that way unless she's thinking of dislocating her shoulder. Now, Martinez is getting to her feet, but knocks her to the floor of the camp. Now, Martinez is trying again and uh, reverses the situation and gets the arm stretch on Mortensen. Come on, champ. You've been as better tactical as pulls the mess. Wonder how long that Martinez can hold that one on you. You held that one in her for about 29 seconds. Now Mortensen is trying for the ropes, but the referee won't let her do that. He tells her to keep away from that. And she tries a particular body heave, but can't get out of it. Martinez still has the arm stretch on her. The champ getting to her feet and trying to work the same out as Rita did. Ah, she is out of it. And a push by Rita sends Mortensen over the rope she goes into the other side and outside the ring. The champ is outside. Martinez gets a hold of her by the head and pulls the flying mare on her. Champ is getting repeated on the outside of the ring. And it's the flying mare again. Rita pulls her over into the ring. Now the champ gets to her feet, pushed by Martinez. And there is the foot throw by Martinez. Another foot throw by Martinez. But here comes the champ, a flying body scissors. And she has Martinez on the canvas in bad shape. It looks like she wins. Yes, sir. Referee Jack Allen looks it over. And Tara Mortensen retains the recognized women's wrestling championship of the world. As usual, the crowd boos the decision. But gracefully, Clara pays no attention to it. Miss Mortens is a good-looking girl. If you saw her on the street, I doubt if you'd pick her out as the women's world wrestling champ. Rita Martinez, the Mexican champ, is getting a terrific hand from the crowd. She has plenty of support. But frankly, I never expected to see the day when women would get black and blue in the places they do now.